Hello everybody and welcome to Ship Analysis. In this series of videos I'll be taking you through everything you need to know about the new purchasable ships in Space Engineers. All ships are vanilla and can be found in trading stations in the game. These stations will only appear if you have the economy option enabled in your world. If you're feeling generous, please like and subscribe, and as always, enjoy. In today's episode, we'll be looking at one of the smallest and possibly cutest ships, the Ion Tug. Commonly found in orbital stations, the Ion Tug can be found priced at less than 1 million space credits. While this initially seems odd as it is one of the smallest ships and is priced higher than say the H-01 Sapper, which at my station was almost 100,000 space credits less than the Iron Tug. This is of course due to its iron thrusters which require platinum to make. The main role of the ship, implied by the name, is to manipulate objects, whether this be cargo containers, ships, or bits of things that were ships. To do this the Iron Tug has a front facing connector accompanied by two front facing landing gear. It has two iron thrusters in each direction apart from forward thrust where it has four. Orientation is controlled by two gyroscopes mounted on top of the rear landing gear and the whole ship is powered by a single large battery. The ship is 4 meters wide, 4.5 meters long and 2.5 meters high. It features just enough light armor to cover up most of its main systems. However, even the smallest drones will easily disable the ship, so be extremely careful. I see the ship getting the most use by either helping a large ship with salvage operations, or moving cargo containers of goods between ships. Since it's so small, it can be easily maintained and stored aboard ships or in stations. Overall, I think that for the price, it's not a bad little runner, considering the iron thrusters. However, it's not hard to make and can be player made cheaper, but if you like the way it looks, give it a go. It won't bite. 